All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Now I, Paul, myself urge you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I who am meek when face to face with you, but bold toward you when absent, I ask that when I am present, I need not be bold with the confidence with which I propose to be courageous against some who regard us as if we walked according to the flesh. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. We are destroying speculations and every lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of God, and we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ, and we are ready to punish all disobedience whenever your obedience is complete. So only the truth of God's word can defeat satanic falsehoods, and believers are instructed to assault error with truth. When people, especially those who enter the church, speak against what's written in scripture with reasonings, philosophies, and false religions of men, that's when we need to gently try to expose truth and love without getting into useless argument. Uh, the pastoral staff may need to get involved if it can't be worked out one-on-one. -on -one. Verse seven, you are looking at things as they are outwardly. If anyone is confident in himself that he is Christ's, let him consider this again within himself. Now, just as he is Christ's, so also are we. For even if I boast somewhat further about our authority, which the Lord gave for building you up and not for destroying you, I will not be put to shame. For I do not wish to seem as if I would terrify you by my letters. Uh, the Lord gave Paul his authority to edify and strengthen the church, uh, but unfortunately his opponents were making him out to be a bully. Verse 10, For they say, His letters are weighty and strong, but his personal presence is unimpressive and his speech contemptible. Let such a person consider this, that what we are in word by letters when absent, such persons we are also indeed when present. Paul was authentic through and through, uh, despite what others were saying about him. Verse 12, For we are not bold to class or compare ourselves with some of those who commend themselves, but when they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are without understanding. But we will not boast beyond our measure, but within the measure of the sphere which God apportioned to us as a measure, to reach even as far as you. For we are not overextending ourselves, as if we did not reach to you, for we were the first to come even as far as you in the gospel of Christ, not boasting beyond our measure, that is, in other men's labors, but with the hope that as your faith grows, we will be, within our sphere, enlarged even more by you so as to preach the gospel even to the regions beyond you, and not to boast in what has been accomplished in the sphere of another. But he who boasts is to boast in the Lord, for it is not he who commends himself that is approved, but he whom the Lord commends. False apostles compared themselves to other men, using human standards in which Paul points out as not being wise, but foolish. The church at Corinth was a result of God's work through Paul. Unlike his opponents, he did not boast about work done by others, but by the Spirit of God. Once the church's faith grew and matured, he could then expand the area of activity by evangelizing other Gentiles in regions beyond them, such as Spain, which was seen in Romans chapter 15. They could take part in this work by prayer and financial support, but first they needed to get their own house in order. And uh, hopefully all of our houses are in order as well. Uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate you being here. Always good to examine where we're at in our walk daily and uh, to repent and lift up our prayers to the Lord. Thank you, guys. God bless you and take care.